हेलो गुड इवनिंग माय डियर यूट्यूब व्यूवर्स टुडे आल्सो वी विल कंटिन्यू द विलेज स्टडीज डुबे इन हिज स्टडीज पर्टिकुलरली इन शामीर पेट प्लेस ही फाउंड सिक्स फैक्टर्स टू अंडरस्टैंड द स्टैटस ऑफ डिफरेंशिएशन एट द विलेज लेवल दो आर एनलिस्टेड लाइक दिस रिलीजियन एंड कैस्ट सेकेंड लैंड ओनरशिप third wealth fourth position in government service and village organization fifth age criteria sixth distinctive personality traits along with the dubey mn srinivas also observed another phenomenon the name is sanskritization that is moving from lower caste status to upper caste status through imitation of rituals examples the sc are the bc people wants to imitate the brahman community rituals in another hand the process will be called as sanskritization moving from low to the up in another hand the lower caste people or menial caste groups maintain the unity in order to secure their employment and also strengthen their bargaining power with the land owning dominant caste that is the landlords the jajamani system is also helping to the villagers to endure their pervasive relationship with one another land and the class under this the anthropologists while they were studying the caste system through holistic approach they observed land and class relations too particularly understood through the village monographs mr m n srinivas observed the caste system is also played a dominant role in economic domain because only higher caste people are possessing more wealth or land compared to the lower caste and untouchable community in this way while we are studying the village structure and the social relations all three that is caste class and land are intertwined with or interconnected with one another these three traits or concepts are controlling the village economic as well as the social relations too hence this economic status has given an opportunity to hold domestic non domestic and finally political power also added to this religion is also contributing its shown share to strengthen the political power next gender differences village studies is not completely gender blind but social anthropologists are not much interested to study man and woman relations here gender means particularly women whereas many village monographs had given detailed account of social relations between man and woman in rural society of india village studies constructed gender and patriarchy as a natural social order because most of the anthropologists are males so it is difficult for them to get the data from the females and their private life activities too so we found some lacuna or the gap was observed in their field work experiences at village there are two domains to understand the women role women's role that is at home and at workplace and we found a division of labor of women at family as well as the public sphere too in general upper caste women are confined to the four walls that is they are busy with the domestic domain and acted as a home maker whereas mr m n srinivas observed that the women were extended their services not only family and also maintain the kinship relations whereas men were busy with the heterogeneous 
social world activities once again we will recap the information today also we will continue the village studies so dubey when he has done the field work in a samir pet place he found six factors to understand the village status the village differentiations in their through their status number 1 is at village religion and caste land ownership third wealth fourth position in government service and village organization fifth age sixth distinctive personality traits along with the dubey mn srinivas is also observed another phenomenon the name is sanskritization that is moving the from lower caste status to the upper caste status through imitation of rituals example the lower caste people that may be the untouchables or sudras wants to make the equal to the brahmins so in order to maintain that hierarchy at the same platform they want to imitate it so moving to the low to the higher rank or higher caste status is nothing but the sanskritization phenomenon but it was not totally successful again they came back that's why we can also call it as desanskritization in the caste system i will explain it bit in detail so in another hand the lower caste people or menial caste groups maintain the unity in order to secure their employment and also strengthen their bargaining power with land owning dominant caste that is nothing but the landlords the jajimani system is helping to the villagers to endure their pervasive relationship with one another next another subheading is land and class anthropologists while they were studying the caste system through the holistic approach they observed land and class relations too particularly through the village monographs mr m n srinivas is observed the caste system is also played a dominant role in economic domain because only higher caste people are possessing more wealth on land compared to the lower caste and the untouchables in this way while we are studying the village structure and social relations we understood all these caste class land are intertwined or interconnected with one another these three traits at the units are controlling the village economic as well as the social relations too hence this economic status has given an opportunity to hold the domestic non domestic and finally political power also added to this religion is also contributing its own share to strengthen the political power next another subheading is gender differences village studies is not completely gender blind here gender means particularly women concerned but social anthropologists are not much interested to study the man and women relations whereas many village monographs had given a detailed account of social relations between the man and the woman in rural in rural society of india village studies constructed gender and patriarchy as a natural social order because most of the anthropologists are males so it is difficult for them to get the data from the females and their and their private life activities too so we found some gap or lacuna was observed in their field work experiences at village there are two domains to understand the women's role that is at home and at workplace and we found division of labor of women at family as well as the public sphere too in general upper caste women are confined within the four walls that is domestic domain and they use and they will be titled as a homemaker mr m n srinivas said 
that the women were extended their services not only family activities and also maintain the kinship relations too whereas men were busy with the heterogeneous sociological world or social activities by this today's lecture is completed if possible do subscribe and like it this is bindu taking leave from the youtube platform good day and good night